All right, what's going on YouTube? Miguel here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode six, Project Pony. So if you guys look behind me, it's finally happening. All right, so the black Mustang already scrapes on everything, so today we're gonna make sure this Mustang also scrapes on everything. So let's get into it. All right, so one thing I absolutely hate about the SN95 Mustang is this whack fitment. Like, look at this. I can fit my entire fist, and I still got, like, plenty of room in there, so we're going to fix that today. And in the back, in the back, it's the same thing. I can fit my whole fist in there, but also these back tires are a little bit tucked in. I hate that, and we also got to fix that, which is what those two boxes right there are for. Ah. I got these springs from Eibach a couple months ago. I just haven't gone around to installing them. Uh, these right here are the Eibach Sportlink springs. That's going to seriously drop this. I'm talking about like a good like, I want to take a guess and say about like three inches or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to be doing the front and the back. Instruction manual, don't need that. Uh, probably don't need that either. Ooh. We got some stickers, Hey, okay. In this box, I already talked about the rear end being a little bit tucked in. Got some 35 millimeter spacers. That's gonna basically solve that little issue. No stickers in this one, but we'll be all right. All right, so first things first, we gotta get this up on jacks, take the wheels off, and then we're gonna start with the front first and then do the back. After you take your tire off, this little piece, this is connected to your sway bar. You're gonna to wanna to take this off. Take a little 15 millimeter, stick that on top. And then down here, there's another 15 millimeter nut. I get those on there, then just start turning. So after you get that end link off the sway bar, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect um, your actual strut from the rotor itself. So this side has a 15, 16 nut, and then on the back over here is a 21 millimeter bolt. Once again, I'm just gonna grab two socket wrenches real quick, and then those should come off pretty easily. All right, so um, quick little update. So the way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to take these two bolts out and then the two bolts holding down the the brakes and you know, we already we already touched on that. That's how it's supposed to be done. I had to do a little outside the box thinking. This car is a pain in the ass. This car absolutely hates me, okay? I've been at this like all day. Like I'm not even kidding. I've been doing this all day. I've only got that other side done. Okay, here's what I had to do. I had to take off like the top part of the strut just to, you know, get the control arm to actually lower. And then since I couldn't get the, the bolts holding the brake caliper in place, I had to just take off the brake line itself. But we got the springs out. And um, speaking of the springs, so here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the springs. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the sport lines are a progressive spring. But once you start going a little bit crazy, you start sending it, you know, they are, they are gonna stiffen up a little bit. And uh, you can just see like the, the difference between the two springs, pretty big drop. I think I said a three inch drop earlier. I wanna say this is ab about like a 1.75, 1.8. We're gonna round up and say a, about two inch drop. So I look an absolute mess, but you guys probably don't care about that. After you get your springs out, you're gonna to wanna to take off like both the, the rubber isolators off the top and you know, just reuse them. You know, we got um, this little piece right here. This is gonna be the bottom part. You're just gonna feed that in like right here and you want it to be where it just like, you just see like this one little, like a little tiny piece right here. Go ahead and show y'all. All right. So after you get that on, you know, that's what it's supposed to look like, just a little tiny corner. And then the top isolator, that just slaps right on. Uh, let's actually, you know, go ahead and install these. All right, real quick, one thing to keep in mind when installing these. Okay, first off, you wouldn't want to clean up like all that crap down there. You can't really see on mine because it's dark outside. There'll be like a spot like right here where you feed like that. This first corner on the spring, that's just where you want to place it. Top one, yeah, the top doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and then we'll get these going. 
is actually day two of me trying to lower my car. We're down to the rear. I got the front done. That's ready to be lowered. Over here, all you gotta do is just take out two bolts to lower your strut. I believe it's a 15 and an 18 on either side. Again, you know, this is all you need right here. And then I also, you know, took out you know this piece right here i want to say that was also a 15 after you get that done that should pop right out but you know my car hates me so it didn't pop right out ran an auto zone got myself a little spring compressor and you know that's actually what we've been using to get the rears out i already got the passenger side done now we just need to get this done and then should be good to go we basically have everything put back together everything's looking good on both sides the only thing we have left to do now is put on the spacers these are ibox 35 millimeter spacers they basically just mount right up to your wheel hub I think it comes with like all the hardware you need here we're just gonna bolt these up slap the tire back on and then take the car off jack stands and we're done Yo, so, ooh, look at that. I don't know about y'all. Okay, it's not, it's not completely low, low, but yo, yo, that came out sick. Look at the back, the back is perfect. It's looking like three fingers, so that's by no means perfect. It looks sick. This might have taken me like two days. A lot of yelling, a lot of AutoZone trips, and maybe a little bit of crying. But I'm happy with this. This looks amazing. It looks sick. Bro, this thing, oh my god, yo. That was 100% worth it. I don't care. 100% worth it. This thing looks beautiful. Car is done. Fitment looks amazing. I know it's not flush. I know it's not flush, but I did this with a set of $300 Ibach lowering springs and for what it cost me for how long it took me, I love it. I just, I gotta show you guys one more time. Just look at that. Look at that. Again, the front is not flush, but the back though. I think the back came out the most. You know, the spacers, like they really got that, that back tire just like perfect. You know, it's like right even with the fender now, not tucked in. Already looks like a new car and I haven't even installed that yet. But anyways. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Please drop a like. You have no idea how much of a struggle this was. Comment down below what was your favorite part. I know you guys have seen my other Mustang. Now you see this Mustang lowered. Which sort of do you like better? Do you like it like right flush where it just it scrapes on everything? Or do you want it like a little bit of wiggle? I don't know, I like them both. Lastly, subscribe because still got a long way to go on the project, sorry.